Hey guys, today we are in Volkswagen Golf and you can see that there's something wrong with the display. So during the attempt to upgrade the firmware in the Technisat unit over here, uh, something went wrong. I believe I had the files uh, prepared the wrong way. And uh, first of all, I got some errors during the update procedure. So some, uh, uh, some modules were updated, I believe a couple of them. Um, and uh, I got those errors and after a few minutes of waiting and not touching anything I got this screen which I was uh, basically stuck on and it doesn't doesn't matter if you turn the ignition off or, or on the screen is uh, here all the time so to prevent the battery drain you will have to uh, disconnect the unit from the uh, from the car so you need to remove the quad lock over here you will need a removal keys to slide out the mine unit and um, I've uh, tried to fix it but I'm uh, I'm not there yet you can see that I'm in a boot loop right now so the um, uh, unit tries to boot up but uh, all uh, that we can see is the Volkswagen logo this is as far as we can get so right now I'm going to try to recover it I'm going to um, need to open the unit and I need to short two, uh, two points on the mine board over here to enter the recovery mode. I also need uh, to be connected to the quad lock uh, over the, uh, over the um, uh, serial communication over UART and I have the cables prepared over here with the UART reader at the end and uh, I have a uh, PC over here and I have an SD card inserted over here with the update uh, with the firmware that I've started with so this is the on the SD card there's the firmware that I had um, before I uh, broke this unit and of course I also need this those tweezers to short those two points to enter the recovery mode hopefully I will not I will, I will not short anything else and I will not um, create further damage to the unit I hope that I can still recover it okay I'm one step closer I've connected the serial reader to the USB port I've started the connection so in my case it was port com3 check your uh, before you make the connection and um, the software that I'm using is called putty and uh, the uh, transmission speed that you need to set is 115200 you need to connect the um, uh, TX uh, pin over here to the RX over there because the transmission and transmitter and receiver needs to be connected with each other so you have a transmitter over here which needs to be connected to the receiver over here and the transmitter from here needs to be connected to the receiver over there and over here I also have a ground connection just to make sure that the communication is okay because sometimes there are trouble with the communication if the ground is not shared between those devices and let me just uh, show you where we are going to make the uh, the jumper, the short circuit to enter the recovery mode. So uh, the base plate has a simple way of there's a simple way of removal. There are five uh, screws that you need to remove. The fifth one is hidden over here under the label, so you will void the warranty if you remove it. This car this car is old enough to not have warranty. And uh, after you remove this plate, you can lift the CD drive. It will not be con uh, it will not be um, mounted to the unit. It's just placed over there. But there's a ribbon. There's a ribbon, so be careful. Just put it over here. Make sure that this is stable. And right now we are going to look on the board. This is Technisat unit, so we have a screw over here. I'm not sure if you can see this, it's very dark over here. There's a screw over here and there are two holes over there. So I believe I need to take my tweezers and put them over here. And while this is shorted like this, just like this, not sure if you can see this, I will make a picture. While this is shorted, you need to uh, connect the quad lock connector to provide power to the unit 
and we should see something else than this. This is a log from the standard uh, standard boot which fails over here. We have boot loop so we have this message, this part of message repeating on the screen. And hopefully uh, with those tweezers I will be able to get to a different screen and trigger the emergency update uh, procedure over here. Okay, I've powered on the um, unit with those shorted pins and I have a, an emergency menu over here with seven options and the number two is emergency update. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the uh, emergency update option over here. Okay, finally we have some uh, live over here on the display. So the computer is still connected to the unit so we have uh, live logs of uh, what's going on right now and la let me show you let me tell you how i've put it into this mode first of all as i said the sd card with the software that was here before um the last running software on this device is in the sd1 port not sd2 not usb sd1 I've shorted the um, uh, the connector over here, those two pads. I've connected power with those um, uh, with this. I instantly got an emergency screen over here. I've pressed two. I removed power. Wait about ten seconds. Um, uh, connected power back in, and the device booted up in the emergency download mode. And right away, it started to download those uh, files from the SD card. So. Right now I can watch the logs. I'm not sure how long this will take. I'm at uh, module five, uh, 4 out of 100, but those are in different sizes. So let's hope this will go well. And after uh, some time I will update you with the, with the current situation. So right now I'm going to wait, listen to some music on my phone and um, we will see you soon hopefully i will not break this unit but honestly at this point i would not be surprised if uh, if my uh, messing around with the firmware um, uh, caused something beyond repair okay about 20 minutes later and the device is running happily i can happily say that everything is working over here back again let me uh, just check um, if the software train over here is correct. Yeah, this is the software train that I was hoping to go back to. And uh, there's no component protection over here, so this was not cleared. Uh, my half, uh, I still have my uh, factory installed codes. I have some invalid codes over here as well because this unit is not patched at the moment. It's back to stock. And... Um, I believe you can already hear in my voice that I'm very happy that this unit was not bricked and I uh, was able to bring life back to it. And before I forget, I want to say thank you to everyone, each of everyone that uh, helped me with this uh, uh, with this recovery. And uh, what's else over here? Oh, let me just tell you a few things that you should know when recovering such a device this uh, word to a USB converter you need to set it to 33 volts 3.3 volts not 33 3.3 volts you do it with this jumper if it's in this position it's set to 33 if you move it over here it will be in 5 volts and 5 volts is too much those are not the correct um, um, communication uh, levels so you need to set it to 33 and what else over here when you are plugging in those uh, cables for communication you need to connect the transmit to receive and transmit from this to receive over here. TX to RX and TX to RX. Also, you need a common a ground connection between your devices just to make sure that the communication is okay. And uh, what's else over here? Um, when you are trying to plug in those uh, connectors, you can use terminals. I've used terminals from some radio con uh, radio adapter like Ford to ESO standard or something like that. And uh, when you remove the quad lock connector, there's a purple uh, lock locking device which you need to pull out, and then you can uh, insert new pins, and then you. Need uh, to place it back again just to make sure those uh, connectors are in the uh, correct place and will um, uh, will work as you expect. Um, 
what else over here right now? I believe that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this recovery process, you can leave them in the comment section below this video. I will try to help you out if I know what, uh, what to do. But keep in mind that I've made many mistakes over here. This is why the unit was uh, not working yesterday and um, I don't feel uh, that I'm the right person to ask about um, uh, about advice at the moment because I'm not sure which uh, steps that uh, I've made were uh, actually wrong. I still need to uh, um, investigate uh, what, uh, what has been done over here and only then when I'm sure what, uh, what was wrong I will um, uh, make a second attempt of upgrading this unit to the facelift uh, facelift firmware. Okay, so I believe that's it uh, for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave your comment if you uh, have some questions and subscribe for future tutorials. See you soon.